Here's something I want to mention, something I saw last night. This is, or I should say was, Cecil the lion, beautiful animal, 13 years old. He'd been wearing a GPS collar as part of an Oxford University research project. They'd been tracking him for years, and during that time, Cecil became like a local favorite amongst the tourists and the guides. He was always around. People loved to see him on safaris until earlier this month when a tourist on a hunting trip shot him for sport. And, of course, everyone is angry and upset. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gimme Five. Earlier in the show, we uh, played you uh, Jimmy Kimmel breaking down, nearly breaking down over this story. We'll get to that part in a second. Um, again, I think what happened here in Zimbabwe with this American dentist is reprehensible. Um, you know, there's plenty of lions if you want to be a real hunter to go hunt uh, without shooting this lion uh, with a bow and arrow and then shooting him uh, again. Point is, though, we're killing babies in the womb, live little babies, and grabbing their organs for sale. And the media and the left is more concerned with the lion than the babies. Watch. It was one of us. It was a dentist from Minnesota who paid $50,000 to shoot the lion. According to uh, the news, he hired a company. He flew to Zimbabwe. Uh, two locals took him to the national park. They tied a, a dead animal to the back of a jeep to lure the lion out of the park because it's illegal to shoot them in the park. They call it baiting. And once they got the lion out of the park, they put a spotlight on him, and then the dentist shot Cecil with a bow and arrow. But the arrow didn't kill the lion, so they tracked him, and 40 hours later shot him with a gun, skinned him, and took the head and left the body there. All right. Again, just uh, uh, you know, a ridiculous set of circumstances, a, a, a terrible set of circumstances. Um, and I'm sure this guy might have. Well, I don't know if he broke laws in Zimbabwe or not. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I know he's in hiding now, as Jimmy Kimmel will allude to, here in his own country, which is sad. Here's more. The American hunter, whose name is Walt Palmer, is currently in hiding. He closed his dental office in Bloomington, Minnesota, and he emailed the statement to the news saying, I had no idea that the lion I took was a known local favorite until the end of the hunt. Which, first of all, stop saying you took the animal. You take aspirin. You killed the lion. You didn't take it. Okay. So you, you, you stop saying you took the life. You, you killed the animal. You didn't, you didn't take it. Babies? Babies, little babies in the womb that you could see on sonograms with fingers and toes and smiling in a face that are poked to death, their heads crushed, but their organs saved to be harvested and sold by Planned Parenthood. That, Jimmy Kimmel, that doesn't outrage Jimmy Kimmel. That doesn't outrage the left. They stick up for Planned Parenthood. They trash the people who are bringing you the story. Oh, they're corrupt. They're killers. They're this. They're that. They edited the tape. But the lion, that's the ultimate. Here's more. The big question is, why are you shooting a lion in the first place? I mean, I'm honestly curious to know why a human being would feel compelled to do that. How is that fun? Is it that difficult for you to get an erection that you need to kill things <laughs> that are stronger than you? <laughs> why are you killing a baby in the first place? Did you ever hear that coming out of Jimmy Kimmel's mouth? or anyone on the left? Why are you killing a baby in the womb? Is it that difficult for you to have that child and put it up for adoption if you don't want it? Or maybe the father wants to raise him? You had sex, willingly, and that's what I'm talking about here, and now you're gonna kill your baby? No, don't talk about that more. I'm not against hunting. If you're hunting to eat or to help keep the animal population healthy or it's a part of your culture or something, that's one thing, but if you're some a-hole dentist who wants a lion's head over the fireplace in his man cave so his douchebag buddies can gather around it and drink scotch and tell him how awesome he is. That's just vomitous. That's vomitous. But the Gosnell circumstance, the Planned Parenthood circumstance, would he call that vomitous? Watch this. If you want to make this into a, uh, a positive, you can, uh, <laughs> sorry. I, I, I'm, I, I, okay, I'm good. Um, make a donation, support them at the very least. Uh, maybe, maybe we can show the world that not all Americans are like this jackal here, this dentist, the top dentist. He almost lost it, crying over the lion, which was a tragedy. Would he do the same over the little babies that are murdered millions every year? Thanks for watching.